Good afternoon and welcome back to the workshop. In the last video in this series, we built the base of the universal pillar tool onto which all of the actual useful things are added. This time we are going to be building the basic tapping spindle. And the reason you might want to do this is because it creates really straight and perpendicular tapped holes in medium to small size taps. We will be looking at an even smaller micro tapping spindle in a later video, but for now we're going to be building this tapping spindle here. So let's get to it. The first thing to do is to make the actual spindle itself. Having sorted the spindle, we now need to make a cross piece handle at the top. Of course we need a quarter inch BSF nut, which I don't have any of, so here we go. I also need a pair of handles to use on the cross piece and these aren't really for cranking it but just to have a purchase for your fingers. first of two lathe tools I ground up and I'm really pleased with this. It seems to be going quite well recently.
Here's another lathe tool that I ground up, this time for the relief of the thread at the back, rather than using my parting tool. Now I need to make some spindle bearings, if you can call them that, to hold that spindle in the universal tool. Here's how that bearing fits inside the tool. And here's an example of the tool in action. This is a simple 2BA through tapped hole on a piece of brass, just to show you how it works. nice and perpendicular. That's the idea. I hope you've enjoyed this video of me building the tapping spindle for the universal pillar tool. The next part of this tool should be the micro tapping spindle, but in order to do that I need to do some knurling. I don't have a knurling tool.